I've never been afraid of the highest heights. Oh, you should do a charity jump. Well, hello there, teammates. I'm Tris, which means it must be tea time. A few of you recently have mentioned that maybe I should stop doing the tea thing. I can't stop doing the tea thing. That'd be like cheese without crackers. Or the sky without clouds. Or Christmas without disappointment. So I think I'm gonna keep it. But this week, I don't know if you can tell, but I've had a little bit of a cold. So uh, my voice sounds even more nasal than normal. Um, you say nasal, I say sexy. Uh, but that's one you can debate. It's been quite a fun week. Uh, played Pokemon Monopoly at one point. Beat everyone at the game. Um, at that point it hit me. Uh, just how tragic my life is. Everyone has those breaking moments. And that was mine. But having a cold and being ill is so boring. It's boring because you don't really want to do anything. So I don't know if you're like me, but what I do is I walk downstairs and I go into the kitchen and I do what I have dubbed the kitchen cycle with two objectives. One, trying to find something to eat and two, trying to kill a few minutes. You know, you go to the fridge first. The fridge is the hub of potential entertainment and food. And I always open the door, have a good look. Never anything there. Never! Especially if mum's been to Waitrose. I don't care if it's more expensive. We still need food. And then I sort of go to the cupboard, and then the bread bin, if I'm feeling very desperate. I always think that's a kind of strange word, isn't it? Bread bin. Because usually you associate a bin with something you don't want. So a bread bin should be like the discards of bread. But that's just the bin. And then to complete the kitchen cycle, you go back to the fridge, open it again, and kind of expect there to be something that there wasn't before. Is it just me who does this? But what makes the whole being bored and ill thing even worse is when people try to help you out. They suggest things to do uh, that might make you a bit less bored. They don't really understand, do they? They think you're bored and you're not happy being bored. If you're like me and you're ill, you're bored and, and you like to moan about being bored, but you're quite content with being bored. As soon as somebody suggests something to do that requires effort or thinking or bloody hell both, you're like, ah, ah, ah. no. And then you get into the whole stage of procrastinating from doing anything. You can guarantee that my DVDs will all be categorized alphabetically. I'm the king of procrastination, right? If there's something you've really got to do, you don't want to do it. So you do other things like clean your room, have you seen it? Why do you think it's this tidy? Because I can't be bothered to do anything else. So then teammates, it's time for today's tea time question. How do you procrastinate? Actually leave a comment in the comment section and I'll read them all, reply to some and feature my top five favorite responses at the end of the next episode. Use Tris, which means you've just had tea time. It's a tea. Thanks to Cooking With Jess for making that little video for me. Link to her channel in the doobly-doo. Anyway, I've chosen the winner of the t-shirt I was given away last week. And the winner is um, Tom New TV. So I'll be contacting you, Tom New TV, you stylish bastard. So then, teammates, last time I asked you, I can't sort of remember, what was it? Oh, I don't know, I haven't checked it. I never do this, I never sort of remember. Not another advert. Damn you, Channel Flip! Right. So then, teammates, last week I asked you, it wasn't last week, it was a few weeks ago, but forget that. If you had a day to live, what the hell would you do? Five, four, nine. Ah, did it wrong. Oh.